very happy to welcome Professor Emerita Helmi Vent, uh, who is also the director of LIA, the Lab Inter Arts. Uh, first of all, let me start by saying that your presentation was mesmerizing and very entertaining for all of us. Mm -hmm. um, what is your take on cultural diplomacy and what do you believe cultural diplomacy is for you? Well, I consider myself as cultural worker through arts. Um, I would not consider myself as a cultural worker in um, the field of diplomacy. Um, I think it is a v an excellent thing that, that exists. I would not choose the word, the term, um, because that's for me a special field, perhaps a little bit occupied. Well, it's, these are my experiences and my, uh, I, I got to know a lot of representatives of diplomats, of uh, attaches in the world. And, um, well, I would prefer to speak about, I would like to work with human beings in cultural fields. I would summarize that as practical and um, theoretical studies in humanities. Um, I would not need the field of diplomacy. So, so far, well, it, it perhaps would take an intensive, an, an intensive time to discuss May that. May I just pick up on that? Uh, in your presentation, you mentioned uh, an exchange of repertoire and that we need more connection uh, between human beings and just people. Uh, do you think that diplomacy is lacking that? Do you think we're lacking uh, a connection between people and between cultures? Mm -hmm. Well, of course it depends. I cannot speak about of course. Uh, all the fields of diplomacy. Um, my experiences are that it is very often spoken and written about cultural work and a lot of uh, attempts to initiate cultural projects, a lot of very good concepts, mm. um, really excellent, uh, but the doing is another thing. Usually the field of diplomacy or the representatives in the field of diplomacy are not the doers. Well, that is very Western. <laughs> the segregation. I, well, I learned somehow to integrate these, for me, not divided um, fields of being, that is doing and thinking and reflecting. And um, I don't want to divide it and I don't want to divide it uh, concerning the people with whom I work. Okay. Um, so, um, w in, in your presentation, uh, what was most impressive was how you managed in your travels and bringing your students with you uh, to really start, as you say, from the bottom and from that bottom to create something that was not prepared, uh, your no concept theory. Uh, how, how do you plan? I understand that you say you, you, you're not a planner and you, tend to, you prefer not to go out there without any plans in your journeys and travels, but how, how does that work? What is the bus behind the scene um, scenario? Mm -hmm. um, how do you start a travel like that and a project like that? Mm -hmm. We prepare a lot and we uh, do a lot in advance. Okay. Studies, well that sounds perhaps a little bit strange. Uh, exercises for everybody, for all of us, in perception, for instance. Exercises 
um, in the streets just with a focus on listening, with a focus on observing, yeah. on watching, and then exchanging that, bringing that together, picking up, what did you see? I have not seen mm. that. What did you hear? Oh, I missed that. And then we bring it together and have already a beginning of something. Just from go somewhere, open your senses, pick up something, yeah. mm. share it, bring it together, and well, of course, I help them to make something out of that, that you can perform it. I have a question. So we were able to share today and, and see your work, yeah. and that was thanks to the, the footage you brought with us. How do you preserve or approach creating that footage so that we can be, it can be transmitted again, um, but preserve some of that sensory uh, encounter so it doesn't become purely visual? How, how do you approach making a record that is a testament to the intercultural nature mm -hmm. of that experience that took place? Mm -hmm. That it is not, not only visual. Yes. Uh -huh. So, therefore, for instance, we um, keep uh, on a regular, uh, we keep the diaries mm -hmm. where, and, and a few examples uh, you could share, we write down uh, both facts, experiences, but also deep emotions, unanswered questions, and today that uh, I couldn't uh, show everything, big conflicts, mm -hmm. because they happened things because of misunderstanding. <gasps> Woof, Julia, for instance. I, uh, well, the, the, the hour was already long, but uh, she had uh, very big problems because she has created an, an, an idea that did not, that did somehow not work and uh, was misunderstood. But of course, uh, wonderful examples to learn, mm -hmm. to learn. Mm -hmm and to go back and speak about that. Why did you misunderstand me? I want, I will, please listen, I would like to explain to you what I really wanted. Aha, well, I did not guess that. Why? Because they have a completely different view of the world, mm -hmm. view of the, uh, the, the, the beings in the world, uh, we, uh, uh, view of the, the rules of behaving between males and females, mm -hmm. and of course that causes or can cause misunderstandings. Mm -hmm. So we don't avoid the conflicts, we take them as a, as a I would say as a, a fact to read about that. Mm -hmm. We have different texts um, they are, I try to connect the texts with the questions of the people. If somebody asks me about that, what you are asking, we read about, for instance, we had some theories on uh, Gestalt. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't I know. know that term. Yeah, mm -hmm. that is a term uh, taken from uh, psychology. Mm -hmm a special concept mm -hmm. that is, a, for me, one of the most integrative concepts, the mm -hmm. Gestalt concept. Mm -hmm. um, so reading, uh, it, it can be like, a, like, a, a, like an additional opinion, mm -hmm. a book. For me, it's a book, uh, uh, six person now in this round, with four, with five persons. It's the six persons who can uh, cause that I say, aha, I didn't think about that mm. aspect. Mm. And then it comes into the round. We discuss it. Uh, the, uh, the, the one can take it, the other cannot take it. Mm. But it is somehow among us. Mm -hmm. And so by and by, for instance, the exercise, the sensitization exercise with keep your eyes closed and admit that somebody uh, leads you around the campus. Can be really mm. scary. Yes. That was for them. Oh, I cannot tell you. 
a lot of a lot of exchange concerning a woman does not do that with a man that's the mm -hmm. first thing a young woman does not do that with a young man that was very strange mm -hmm. very strange and of course that comes up a lot so like yesterday uh, you mentioned about the intercultural exchange which is this real interesting when, when, uh, when you say that giving and taking so uh, that's why I want to ask you when you uh, went to Manado is is it an intercultural intercultural exchange because for example like in Mumbai I believe intercultural exchange is like two ways so you're giving something and then you're taking something uh, this is a two ways how about in Manado because I just saw that they giving you something and uh, they give you something and then did you give something also to them it's like two ways interesting que question yeah. Well, it's always an attempt. I tried. Mm -hmm. I gave them the experiences that are, for any kind of artist, I think very essential. Yeah. And that is what I tried to, to, to mention during the lecture, to make the experience that nothing that we use, nothing that we have learned, mm -hmm. nothing is fixed. It is always a dynamic thing that can change, that can possibly change. Mm. So, and we worked on this idea, this openness, mm -hmm. keep yourself open. Singing, of course, can be have one, one position, one yeah. form, row by row, uh, one behind the other, da -da 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 -da, standing and singing repertoire. That is one way of singing in the world. Mm -hmm. one way and so I tried what I gave them we did uh, the first task was we we you we keep your repertoire we mm -hmm. only change the locations mm -hmm. that was one one day mm -hmm. we changed locations we went into a bathroom it was so <laughs> funny it was <laughs> so funny I let the people sing in a in a, a what, what is a, a barbershop uh, chair uh, <laughs> no one knows what because it was just a part of the location yeah. um, I took what was uh, around them I took everything from the environment but their songs stayed their songs mm -hmm. so that is already a big thing uh, uh, singing with the under beneath the table, your song and yours on you, yourself will change. If yeah. you sing a song and are used to audience, and now you are asked to sing beneath the table and a cloth is hanging down, what happens with you? Mm -hmm. So that's what I try to give them. Yeah. I think these experience. Uh, they are still ongoing in their minds, mm -hmm. in their souls, and um, we write uh, each other very intensively. Okay. There, I think there is going on a lot, and there has started a lot. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Hi, dear Professor Vint. Yes, um, the, we very much enjoy your lectures, and uh, uh, I think uh, my feelings is during your implementation or experimental. Uh, yes, yeah, so they're interesting examples. I think you might uh, probably found some problems, but at the same time, have you uh, trying to explore the significance or meanings, or have you ever found explored the meaning uh, of this your experimental? I mean, I mean, explored the meaning of our experiments. Yeah, or your project, the meaning or significance. I mean, yeah. It's interesting, it's funny. Uh, I want to know, and uh, there must be something behind it. Oh, or have, yeah. you, have you found it? I mean, I mean well, uh, and, and in a trial, in a um, uh, normal level, okay, we interact with each other. And how about to the higher level? As, um, have you found some I mean, meaningful things I mean, when you're doing such an um, experimental? Mm -hmm. So, uh, the examples that I showed you today, um, nearly all of them, besides the first uh, example, they were professionals with a pr uh, trombone and the uh, sax and so. But um, uh, I wanted, I decided to show you 
um, examples from initial phases. How do we start? How do we go on? And I left everything at home. What has to do with the performance? We have a lot of performance-oriented films, a lot of DVDs. But that's again a showing. I wanted to give you an insight into the process-oriented work. But I, I would like to come back to your, to your question concerning signifi uh, significance. I, I, I think there must be some, I mean... The first is, is you and me. The first, the first thing is, um, I would say, work on our self, uh, an extra word. You work on your self, I work on my self, and um, what we call find an identity um, does not exist. The identity does not exist, but the work has a lot to do with that, because if you get a task to, for instance, to uh, be occupied with the phenomenon of water, your result of um, working with water will be completely different, for instance, uh, compared with the result uh, with, from Betsy or from Camilla. So behind that is, it, it sounds so very simple. We all are very, very different. And there is not the dealing with something there is not the dealing with a with a behavior <coughs> or with a, a social rule or with a written something or whatever there is not the thing that is equal for everybody in the world when you ask for significance of something i think uh, it does not exist no, I mean, there must be many I mean, meanings, uh, uh, yeah. but uh, I want to know, I mean, there must be many meanings and everybody can explore and can find it. And I yeah. think it, the meaning that's, uh, I mean, uh, the way we're trying to find meanings is meaningless. And I'm so, how to say, impressed. And yes, I, how to say, I, I'm, I'm for it, yes. I'm not, I mean, to against it. Yeah, N no, to find yourself a meaning concerning water. Okay. To find myself another meaning concerning water. Yeah, that's interesting. If, if yes. somebody in the Thank desert uh, uh, begins to deal with water, it's mm -hmm. for a, a, a desert man or a woman yes. something so different yes, compared to, to us in a European culture yes. where we have water at any corner. I think that's the meaning of your... The, uh, and to ex not only to accept that, to get to learn that, yes. And to integrate that in our uh, consciousness. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that is a, a big thing. Yes, yes. That's Thank for you. me uh, a part of what we call meaning. Yes. To broaden, to widen our consciousness concerning the, the uncountable numerous phenomena and meanings and significance in the world. <coughs> but nobody can fix them. Yes, indeed. That's why I was, I was wondering, and I want yeah. to ask you, but still, yes, that's the, mean, that's the meanings and significance of yeah. the process. And it reaches from a, a, a simple sound, a simple movement, up to a term like cultural diplomacy. The, it does, as such, it does not exist. You are the one, and I am the one, or we are in a group, the ones who give a thing or a phenomenon or a, a, a tool, whatever it is, a meaning by doing. And perhaps it's all very, very personal as well as we yeah. share experiences, but I'm afraid that our time is up. I have a whole book of questions <laughs> and comments to make to you, but thank you very much for yeah. participating oh. in this discussion and for giving us that wonderful lecture. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. I thank you. I thank you.